Here we have a piecewise defined function. This is the graph, and I want you to find the equation for it. Well, first thing I'm going to do is realize that there are three pieces here. They're all in different colors. That's nice. But there are three pieces. The first is this line here, this red line, and it goes from negative 9 to negative 4. The second is the blue line that goes from negative 4 up until 3. And then the third piece is this aqua green color thing. I don't know what you want to call that. And that goes from 3 to 7. So we're going to have three pieces to this graph. So I'm going to go to the next slide here because I don't know if I can squeeze this in here. Um, but we're going to have three pieces. So let's write this out. It's going to be f of x is equal to, and there's three pieces. So there's going to be a function defined on an interval for some interval. Another function defined for some interval, and another function defined for some interval. Let's go back and get the intervals. The first piece is defined from negative 9 to negative 4. We can include negative 9 as it's filled in, but not negative 4. So that's going to look like this. From negative 9, when x is greater than or equal to negative 9, but less than negative 4. The second piece is this blue line. That's defined from negative 4 up until 3. We can include negative 4, but not 3. So that's going to be from negative 4 less than or equal to x up until 3. And third piece is from 3 until 7. Don't include 3, do include 7. So from 3 up until 7. I forget which one I'm including. Let me go back and check. Don't include 3, do include 7. There we go. So I've got to change this. Do include 7. Do not include 3. So just greater than 3. Now all we need to do is find out what functions they are, and we can put them in here. Well, the first one's easy. It's just a horizontal line. This is y equals 3. So my function equals 3 from negative 9 to negative 4. How hard is that? It equals 3 from negative 9 to negative 4. No problem. The second part is a line right here. You see this line? Well, it has a y-intercept of 1. So the equation of our line is something plus 1. And the slope is over 1, down 1, over 1, down 1, over 1, down 1. That's negative 1. So it's negative x plus 1. That's our second function. Oops. From negative x, I'm sorry, negative x plus 1 from negative 4 to 3. And the next piece is this green line here. It's also a line. Now, I can't see the y-intercept right away, but that's all right. I can see the slope is over 1, up 2, over 1, up 2. So the slope of this line is 2x. And the y-intercept, we can either continue the pattern until I get to the y-intercept, or I know that when I plug in 4, I have to get 0. When I plug 4 into this, I get 8, which means I have to subtract off 8. If you don't like that, you could just continue the pattern until you get down to the y-intercept. This is down 2 over 1, down 2 over 1, down 2 over 1. You can see the y-intercept is negative 8. So even though that's not on my graph, the equation is still 2x minus 8. And that's going to be our third piece, 2x minus 8. And there you are, a piecewise function that if you graphed it, would look just like this guy. So there's the answer.